What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back at again with another video, and boy, oh boy, social media is in an uproar at uh, Jim Cornette's latest video talking about Swerve Strickland going against Kyle Fletcher after winning the AEW World uh, Heavyweight Championship. And the thumbnail that was used in that particular video has a lot of people upset. And some of y'all tagged me, getting trying to get my opinion on it because I do check out Jim Cornette's podcast on and off camera. I've done a few reactions to some of his videos. So uh, I definitely wanted to actually give my two cents on this whole situation. So if you don't know, let me go ahead and pull up. I'm going to go ahead and make myself a little bit smaller so y'all can see. This is the thumbnail in question that has a lot of people upset right now obviously you got swear strickland you got a q-tip and then you got um jim Cornette as a uh gorilla now off rip if you just see this you just see this thumbnail off rip you automatically looking at it kind of funny and i can't lie when i first saw it i saw it on twitter before i even saw that he dropped it i saw it on twitter um and it did look kind of wild it does optically it looks like someone's you know you know kind of playing or leaning into the racist joke or the racist uh stereotype of this black guy looking like a gorilla now i believe their artist uh that works on their thumbnails is travis yeah travis you didn't do them any service because this definitely looks bad but I'm a person that at least likes to hear things out and see what is said because with Jim Cornette and how he does his videos and how they get the thumbnails, it's literally something that he would say in the video and then they would just, you know, kind of create it as the thumbnail. That's how the thumbnails come apart, like, you know, become what they are. So I'm like, I'm trying to figure out what was said that a gorilla and swerve strickland and a q-tip would be in the same frame like in the same thumbnail so i was like let me give the benefit of the doubt because i saw a lot of people oh he's racist he's been racist this is cm punk's favorite podcast like it's just a whole bunch of people just trying to jump on someone obviously that they're not a fan of we all know jim Cornette. he's one of the most popular wrestling uh individuals in the business and has one of the most popular uh wrestling podcasts out there a lot of people don't like him because of his takes do i always agree with his takes no but at the same time that's his takes you feel me so i checked the video out myself off camera i'm not even gonna do this uh on here i checked it out myself and when you actually listen to what he was saying this had nothing to do with racism this had nothing to do with it you know um he the the q-tip is in reference to kyle fletcher you know who he you know compares as a pretty much a walking q-tip and then the gorilla is in reference to the uh mighty joe young movies uh that came out a while ago long like in the 90s i think there was some before then but it's a movie involving a huge ass gorilla and i think he was in he was basically talking about, I don't care if it's uh, Mighty Joe Young out there or whatever the case. And that's how we got that. Now, like I said, <clears throat> Travis didn't do them any service because at the same time, he could have used the Cheetah reference because before he Jim Cornette even said that, he said Cheetah. So he could have used the Cheetah reference at, and, and put that in the thumbnail and it probably would have made, people wouldn't have said nothing about it. But because he used the gorilla <clears throat> and he had Swerve Strickland on there as well, you automatically know what's about to come this way. If you want me to be honest, I do think Travis kind of put this up there because he knew what type of reaction and traction this was going to get. Because I don't, I don't think Jim has any involvement in the thumbnail stuff or any of that. I don't even think he's like that tech savvy when it comes to the the online stuff with YouTube and stuff. But I do think this was intentional because he knew people were going to go check this out. He knew people 
we're going to see what what this video is about just off the thumbnail alone. I saw this on Twitter and I'm subscribed to the guy. So once I saw this on Twitter and everyone having an uproar about it, I instantly went to go see what he had to say. And there's people in the comment section on this video. They don't give a damn what he has to say. They're already common like, yo, this is racist. Boom, 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 boom. Like people that don't even watch Jim Cornette. You know what I'm saying? So it's just one of those things where I do think this was kind of intentional in a sense <clears throat> of getting some more traction for the video would i've done this no because it's bringing uh unnecessary negativity to uh the vid but at the same time i don't think jim Cornette cares i don't think anyone involved in this podcast really gives a damn because at the end of the day people are still watching it i do not think this was just a a racist situation just blatantly i honestly think this was a misjudgment by Travis. Either he didn't attend on this or he kind of knew people were going to be in an uproar and gonna was going to check the video out. Now, does that make it any less bad? Some could say yes. Some could say no. Me personally, I feel that I feel like their podcast is already at a, a, a great state that I wouldn't necessarily have done this myself just to get that extra click or those extra views. But once again, I don't know what his intentions was, so I'm not going to sit up here and put my thoughts into why this thumbnail was made. But once you listen to it, you understand. Does it still look bad? Yes, but there's always context. I know some people are going to be like, well, Jim has always said some wild racist stuff. And, and I, I want to put this out there. I've heard some of the clips. Were they uh, acceptable? No. No, they weren't. Even in the context of what he said, I've heard him say the hard R. I have. I definitely have. But at the same time, I'm not going to sit up here and, and be like this high and mighty individual over something that someone did many years ago or whatever the case. If he's actively saying some stuff like that now, of course, I'm like, yeah, I kind of kind of got to withdraw from it because I want to put this out there. People be thinking I get great views from checking out Jim Cornette. No, I don't. They're, they're pretty. I get more views from videos like this and giving my own opinion than watching Jim Cornette clips. I actually just watch it because I know you guys enjoy it. And I find the dude's fucking hilarious. Even his take sometimes I may not agree with. I find that shit hilarious because he doesn't give a shit. And I can respect that to an extent. But in this particular situation, I've heard him, you know, say some some stuff. I'm not a biggest fan of. But I'm not going to sit up here and condemn the guy because I do think he understands what he's talking about for the most part. And I just don't feel like he... He's on that type of time. He's been accused of that so many times. Some of the stuff he says is wild too. But at the same time, I know what era that he grew up in. Not saying that it's right. But I also know some people, they're not going to change no matter how much you want them to. Because they're already, they, this is what they grew up with. Their, their ideals and, and how they view things are set in stone. I just, I don't get true racist vibes from him. I don't. In the sense of, Oh, he just don't like black people. I could be wrong. I don't get that. But at the same time, the dude does say some, he, he does be saying some borderline racist stuff. But if I'm going to not rock with him because of some of the stuff he said in the past, and this is why I wanted to make this video because I wanted to point this out. If I'm not going to like him and stop supporting him, right? Then in essence, I should stop supporting a lot of things. Because I literally just watched WrestleMania not too long ago, WrestleMania 40, one of my favorite WrestleManias of all time, and enjoyed myself. But the guy that created it, even though he's not involved in the company, literally was on live television with a do-rag talking to John Cena saying, what up, my nigga? If I'm going to go that route, then I, I, shouldn't, be, I shouldn't be watching wwe at all and the same thing could be said for aew because there's some stuff going on in aew as well if you're going to have that moral high ground you shouldn't be watching the product they still got the stuff with chris jericho that didn't really get resolved they still have the stuff with 
they actually have uh, Ric Flair. He's partnered up with them, and he's been involved in some stuff. So once again, it's just one of those things. If we're going to have this moral high ground, then there's a lot of things that we shouldn't support and or watch completely. And not even just in wrestling or whatever. Some of the stuff that you you buy, some of the things that you, you know, places you bank at, all these other type of stuff. There's a lot of dirt that a lot of people do. So that's why I don't get into this moral high ground stuff, because if I do, then I literally have to cancel a lot of things that are part of my day to day life. And one of those things is WWE, when Vince has been known to say some wild shit. And. Me being a, 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 a human being that has said some racist stuff too, even though it was in a joking manner, someone, if they clipped it they would and they felt some type of way about it, they would assume that I'm racist, even though it's a joke. You know, I've said some racist jokes before. You guys have seen it on Twitch on when we was live streaming. So people can pick and choose. You know what I'm saying? Once you take something out of context, people are not going to look into it even more and be like, Oh, well, that's why he said that. No, nah, they're just like, oh, nah, he's racist. Like, I've seen people on Twitter, there's no context where this makes sense. And if you don't watch it, you wouldn't know. This is still wild, but I understand why this happened. I know I'm going to get some flack for this. I know I'm going to be like, oh, you're defending a racist. Boom, boom, boom. You said you've made, you've made racist remarks. Yes, I made racist jokes, but I'm not a racist individual. I care about everybody. Not care about everybody, but I don't have a problem with you because of your skin. I've had people be racist to me in real life and on social media, and I'm fine. It sucks when it's coming from a hateful place, not a just I'm joking with you type shit. But at the same time, I already know I'm going to get some hate just because I actually understand why, why the thumbnail was the way it laid out. But I personally don't agree that it shouldn't have been up there because it just looks wild. But I think maybe that be maybe that's part of why it's up there because they know it's going to get some traction. Who knows? I wouldn't personally have did it. But nothing that Jim Cornette said in this video was actually racist. It's just the thumbnail is it's pretty damn it. So y'all comment down below. Let me know. Do y'all think people are overreacting to this whole thumbnail situation? Or do y'all feel like is justified because it's still it looks wild or do y'all feel like nah fuck it jim Cornette, he's a piece of trash human being and travis who made it is a trash human being anyone involved in this is trash <laughs> let me know because I, I already know it's it's gonna be some difference of opinions here appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel road to 150k and i'm still gonna speed the youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on the next one peace